Hey everybody and welcome back to Eat the World. I'm Chef Alex Lazic and let's get started. So today we're following on from our bacon video that we made last month and we're going to be making pancetta the Rolls Royce of bacons. Okay, Rolls Royce is English, pancetta is Italian. The Maserati of bacons. Maserati? I don't really know cars. As we mentioned in the bacon video, the origins of bacon dates back thousands of years. It goes all the way back to ancient China where salted pork belly was first recorded. So salting and curing meat was an ancient way of preserving it when there was no refrigeration. Pancetta definitely falls into that category. What's the difference between bacon and pancetta? Bacon is generally lightly cured, occasionally smoked, and then it's just sliced up and fried or used however you're going to use it. So what makes pancetta so special? Well, instead of stopping at a light curing, like as we do with bacon, we're going to continue to age it and dry it out. But as opposed to bacon, which we just keep the flavors nice and simple, pancetta is loaded up and cured with all kinds of herbs and spices, like garlic and juniper and thyme and chilies. So we'll rub it and cure it. And once the curing process is done, then we're going to hang it for about three to four weeks. That means it's going to develop a whole different level of depth and intensity that it's more simple but beautiful cousin, bacon, just can't get to. I'm not meaning to talk badly about bacon, but that's just how it is. Again, just like bacon, this is not a complicated process. So let's get started. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start with this beautiful piece of local pork belly that I found, but use what you have. Now, traditionally, you would use the same curing compounds that were used for bacon. And in the original cure, you would throw in some fresh thyme, garlic, nutmeg, and juniper. But the beauty of something like pancetta is that you will have a regional or personal twist to it, and it's so versatile. I'm making my own version, which I think is just spectacular. So in the initial cure, I've got some coarse salt, brown sugar, curing salt, chili fennel seed, garlic, pepper, bay leaves, and that's about it. Think almost Italian sausage flavors. So you're gonna rub that all into the pork belly, place it in a Ziploc bag for between five and seven days and flip it every day. Next, I'm gonna prepare my finishing spices. So again, garlic, paprika, pepper, a few chilies, bay leaf. When your belly is ready, you're gonna wash it off thoroughly, dry it, and then it's as simple as rubbing it on, rubbing on your spice mixture and then ideally hanging it for about three to four weeks to dry and age in a place like a root cellar or a cold room, etc. But you can also do it in a rack in your fridge. I did this in my motorhome fridge in the northwest coast, which had a perfect level of humidity and temperature for this. And uh, all those details will be on my med website. So, but drying the pancetta enhances its texture, intensifies its flavor, and helps it last longer. As I mentioned, I just aged this in my motorhome refrigerator. So on the bottom rack, I left it uncovered for about three weeks, maybe slightly longer. And that, my lovely people, is about it. After about three weeks, your pancetta will be ready and it will look something like this. This pancetta is incredible. I really recommend that you give this recipe a try. The subtle combination of the flavors I used were so perfect and the chili for my taste was just perfect. There was not too much spice at all. This is such a winner. I couldn't resist by slicing some up thinly and making a classic carbonara, well, with a shift out of spinach through it. Um, so I added a, a nice bit of spinach and I put some chili and some reggiano or pe you can use pecorino romano, but I'll be making a video for that later. But for now, enjoy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks again for watching my video. Please, please, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. And remember, if you're having any culinary issues, what you can do is head over to my website, click on the chat function, and you'll come straight to me. And I can help you with any culinary issues that you have right there and then. So please, like, subscribe, do all those things. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.
subscribe. Subscribe.